Hey there everyone, this is MarkyMan64 here welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Goat Simulator 3 on the PlayStation 5. This is episode number 27. So in the last episode we continued with gathering as many trinkets as possible, so if we come into collectibles you will see that we still have quite a few left to go but we have finished one two three four five six uh, areas of trinkets is that right one two three four five six yes uh, so in this episode I am going to gather some more trinkets but first I thought I would uh, shake things up a little bit by going to uh, downtown, back to downtown, to do some of the instincts that we have to do. So first of all, we're going to head here. Uh, where is the nearest? Let's let's go from the top of Wind Top. So go from here, and you can see where where we're heading over here. We are heading to the police station. I'm not sure whether you can go anywhere at the police station or whether it needs to be here, but this is this is where I am going to head and let's see if you can get it like if you need to be a certain distance away or not, I don't know. But I am going to do emotes and butt shake, there we go. So we have that one. Now I am going to go to the next one which is I forgot that I would need to open up map I was <laughs> got really confused there it's it's around here so if I go along there then I will find it get out of the way of this car and while we're on the way let's grab somebody and let's go into Lux where we got the suit and I want to take this person shopping, put them in there and that changes their outfit and gets them a new outfit. Let's remove this waypoint here and come across here because there's a secret one that I need to do here by blowing up, this is like a secret event which I didn't even realise there was secret events but I need to blow up this balloon and it will take off and then I need to go into into the shopping cart and I'm not sure if no I need to I need to stay in the shopping cart for a length of time I think I do so I'm going to stay in the shopping cart. So it's take the scenic route in the balloon cart, which I mean I am doing. I am in the balloon cart and I will take the scenic route. Now I think, I think it speeds up a little bit. I think, I don't know how it's actually like deciding to move but I am going to stay in here until 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 something happens. So yeah, there we go. So take the scenic route in the shopping cart. That is me done that. And now I'm going to come down here. I don't know if there's a specific place. Let's unlick unlick the shopping cart. I need to come down here. Because, is that is that all the ones that I was going to do? I think so. So, now, unless I see something very close by, I am going to get some more collectibles. Um, the next one is obviously Fair Meadows Ranch in alphabetical order, which I may as well go for. I've obviously got quite a few in places like Suburbsville which is quite a large area um, and relatively speaking I've got quite a few in like the, the zoo 
and Pointed Foods Factory. Um, there, there wasn't any apart from where is it the <clears throat> the cemetery that I I didn't still have things to get when I started this kind of intentional intentional search. So I mean that's you know that's obviously going to happen, but I I am now being intentional about it. So go back to the the first area over here. Well, this is actually Suburbsville that I'm... Oh no, it wasn't. I, I thought it came up with Suburbsville there. But, yes, I am going to go along here. And again, as I said in the past couple of episodes, when I see the next one up, and then end up like going out of a logical order, I actually mean like the next one in the, the list. They are specific ones that are in that list. And so, if you're missing one, then it's easy to find which one you're missing and go and get it. But this next one is over here, and I think it's actually, I think it's actually the first one. Yeah, it's actually the first one in the the list. But obviously, I already had twenty from this area, so that's why it's twenty one of thirty one there rather than. Um, one, because <laughs> I obviously have some of them. So this one, which is number five actually, is over here. So am I close to it or am I as well teleporting? I think it's, yeah, I think it's like equal distance from me pretty much to it as from the, from the, the goat tower. The nearest goat tower. So this one is across here and it's in one of these food things. Now I'm not 100% sure but it might be this one or it might be this end one. Yeah it's this end one. There we go. And so the next one is in I need to like look at this this map that I've got and then try and interpret where that is. Either interpret or, or see where it is. <laughs> so it's around around this area actually. It's in Yeah, it's in that in that um in that that barn. I was trying to remember the word barn there. In this barn which is over here. It's in the the rafters of this barn, I think. It's in yeah, it's in the rafters of this barn. Correct. It is over here. Let's let's climb up here and then see if I can see it. And then if I can't, then I might be in the wrong place. Uh, which would be fun. Cause there's lots of barns around this area, so <laughs> yeah, it's over here. I see it. You know, I'm, I'm as as likely to get it as get it wrong in the wrong place as as anything. Let's climb up here, gracefully get this. <laughs> I do really recommend having having not necessarily these two power ups, but definitely Daredevil um, to get this. I uh, but also one of the wings or. You know, if if you if needs be, then the paraglider, which I think is the superior as far as like flying around goes, but it's not the superior when it comes to um when it comes to to like traversing this area. So go we have to go into the redneck area, which is closer to us than like we would need to. If we were to use the, the goat tower, then we would actually have to pass where we were there just now. So we might as well come up here and let's land because I've went into Ragdoll. And then it is up on this cross. Um, I, I, I'm hearing the, the, yes, the tornado, there it is. I knew it was around. 
So I might be picked up by this in a few seconds, but I need to come up to this, these wires here, which it's in the middle of them, and obviously I can, I could have used grind to get these. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go down and then let's climb back up again. That's probably going to be the easiest thing to do. And then, as I discovered last time, it is fairly easy to control grind compared to what I thought it was. Like, I thought it was impossible to control it, but it's not. So, yay. Um, okay, Where, what's this? Okay, I am I am trying to, to do this to fly and to look at the, the next location at the same time, which is never a good idea. So, if I go over here, it is kind of here-ish, I think. Yes, I think this is the, this is the electricity pylon there that I've clicked on. Which makes me think, are these like electricity pylons? I see some different, different things around that could be them, not that it matters, I mean you can see where they are on the, if you if you run about. Um, okay, so let's climb up here and the, the daredevil, just like using the daredevil and not using the wings is such a good way of, of traversing the map. Like it, it gets frustrating when you get close to the place but when you're actually just like traversing it is a really good way of doing it. Now I just saw it there but another way is obviously to use these ladders to come up. So I think I think I'll, I'll try and get try and get up there legitimately. How, how do you get up to here? Yeah do you just like climb yeah I think you just climb you would just wall wall run up up here. <laughs> this is this is why it's really useful to have these power ups. Yeah, you just wall run up up there. Um, can you use the grind? No, you can't, cause like, then you're going to be going. I suppose you could use the grind and then like, yeah, you could use the grind and then use wings only. But obviously, it's going to be easier to use Daredevil at the same time. Obviously, like, you don't have Daredevil earlier on in the game, so that's, in that way, it is, you know, it's an alternative way of doing it. Um, okay, so for the next one, we need to go to where Backyard Science is, and that is kind of a good, good location for us to find that. It's over here. And... Nope, it's forward. Forward. I got mixed up there with what that what that was. And so I can actually see it from here. But unless you knew that it was there, then you might not. But it's down here. And it is in these tires. So if we hit the tires out of the way, don't worry, the trinket won't go flying. The trinket isn't affected by by you doing that. Um, so the next one, see we are, we are thundering through these fairly quickly but I still would recommend doing some of them as you go. Obviously there are ones that are so much more difficult doing without doing the ramp but I suppose like if you did the ramps like first, like if you, if you went and did the ramps and then went and got, I think you can get like one of the wings without even doing anything, you just buy it. The trinket is over there, I can see it from here. But, yeah, you could you could do that. I'm going to get this trinket legitimately, just to, just to do at least one of them legitimately. Well, most of it legitimately. <laughs> if, if I, if I come out from under this rock and then jump over here and then ramp up here then get the the trinket perfect and so then 
come up here, land and then get out of Ragdoll. There we go. Okay, so the next one. And we, we don't have that many left to get. But the next one is over here. So this one does seem a little more logical as far as like where things are. Some of them, like you're you're over one area and then you like leave that area and then you go to another area and then come back to that area and it's not very logical. But this one seems more logical and like where they are and what order. So that one 28 of 31 which was actually the 22nd trinket in the, the list if you want to be technical and so the next one is here down here I think so let's go over here can I come out here yeah there we go okay so come up here like I said before it's not great to use daredevil when you've not already got the height I don't know how tall this this thing is. Yeah, this is the the pipes from is it the Pointy Foods factory? One of the one of the places. And yes, that is it in the the distance. So, come over here. Try and make my way over. And Okay, so where where is this? Where's this one? This one is in another one of the barns, which is is it this barn here? Yes, it is this barn here. Well done, us. And that goat didn't seem happy at me stealing the. Stealing its uh, trinket that it had stolen, or put in the barn. I, I don't want to assume that it was it was stolen. Um, th this one is over by Pointy Foods, I think. But it's hard to tell because I've I've taken the the screenshot at the wrong place. <laughs> so it's over here. I think. Give me two seconds, I'll just double check this one. Okay, so I was close. Um, I don't know how flawless flawless this uh, cut would be, but I I put in the, the waypoint and I was fairly close. I don't know why I zoomed so far, so far into it, but uh, that one is over in this direction, so... Oh, he's entered Ragdoll. She has entered Ragdoll straight away. And I don't know why. Is there anything to do in these chicken coops? I might have already done what was meant to be done. Uh, no, I don't think there is. And uh, I don't want to... I don't want to get the, the wrath of that of that farmer. So I am out of there. And so there's a trinket down down below me just now. So if I carefully come down and there we go. Okay, so the next one, is this the last one or the second last one? I didn't see how many I still had to get there when it came up. I think the last or oh, this this one is is in there. So like I said before, it does kind of seem I'm I'm not keeping track of like where the trinkets were that I didn't that I that I've already got. I'm not really keeping track of that, so there's the possibility that there it might not be logical. It might just be logical for the ones that I still had remaining. So that is the last one in this area. So I, re I really am going through them quite quickly, even though it may not seem that way. I am going through them. So that is the um, all of them in Fair Meadows Ranch. 
So if you give me a few minutes, I am going to look up uh, a couple of the more more areas, Morningwood Falls and Pointy Foods Factory, and let's see how many I can get through in this episode. Okay, so while I've been away, I've also realised that there are secret events in these areas. So, and there's also, like, on the map, you can see on the left-hand side the number of uh, gear pickups in that area. And, I mean, that'll make it a lot easier to, to see to see what is going on. Now, what I don't understand is that I have all the, all the pickups... All the instinct, um, not instinct, all the, all the trinket pickups in this area, but that is not being reflected in the map. If I go back to map, trinkets in Fair Meadows Ranch, or is that, yes, okay, because that's because in Fair Meadows Ranch, it's, it's not divided up properly, like Pointy Foods Factory is one of the is one of the areas, one of the sub-areas for trinkets and I've still to get all of them from there but I'm going to first of all go to the Morningwood Falls area which is up here and get the, the trinkets from here. We are getting so close to the end so that's 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 good. So close to the, the end, but we also have secret events on that list. So as you can see I've got one of one in no sorry, four of four in this area. I one of one in this area. Um I have a uh, three of three in this area. I have three of three in this area. I have four of question mark in this area. And I have zero of question mark in this area, so I'll need to figure out how many secret events are in Gothenburg and Statue of uh, Libertarian Island, I should say, and then discover which ones I need to get. So, first of all, I'm going to go to this goat tower. I was trying to remember what they were called there. Goat tower and I'm going to go across here because one of them is just in the air here which obviously you can get to in various ways but I'm just going to use the way that I have already established that I'm using and so the next one is in is it? It's in, like, here, I think. I think it's in here. I think it's uh, in this... Uh, that's, like, the parking lot, right? So, let's uh, disappear before that person figures out that I am self-aware. And come over here. Try and slow down. There we go, and I can even see the trinket from here. This is such a good way of finding these trinkets, it would be so, so, so frustrating to try and do all of these collectibles when I, um, yeah, it would just, it just would not work when, when, like, to try and figure out where they all are. Now, some of them... And I'm sure there are people who can can do that <laughs> without without getting angry. But yeah, sorry, I'm meant to be going over here and then teleporting over here. So yeah, I'm sure there are people who can do that, but I am not one of them. Who can who can have the patience to find all these trinkets and some of them are insane. <laughs> like, like, how are you meant to find that? Uh, and this one is inside this little shelter in here. There we go. And so the next one is, yeah, the next one, 
The next one annoys me that I didn't find. I don't need to set a checkpoint for it because I will I will get to it. But yeah, this one kind of annoys me that I didn't didn't see or didn't find previously. But it's down here, and I can even see it from here, which again goes back to where I said that their their um visibility, their drawing distance for the trinkets is quite high, so if it's out in the open or if it's somewhere that you are looking without having anything in the way, then you will you will find it quite easily. Uh, next one is over here. I say quite easily, obviously I'm looking up guides to find these and I'm finding them that way. Uh, so the next one is over here and so I need to go to the the bottom of this of this water over here because there's a waterfall which I need to get behind and again I can see it from here that's that trinket and that's 16 of 19 and so the next one I'm getting annoyed by saying the next one, the next one, the next one, all the time as well. So if you're getting annoyed, then you're not the only one. This is a really good goat tower to teleport to, actually, just in general. Because you, it doesn't take that long to make it across the other side of the map uh, from here. So like, even if it's in another area, then you can get over here from using this technique. I'm trying to see that. There we go. And so this one, I have a feeling that this one is actually, where is it? See if I can see it from here. So I don't think it's actually in this particular area. It might be round here. Okay, so it's actually, and I, I started recording and then I realised that I wasn't describing where it was. So it's actually around the other side from this. And if I climb up here, then you can see it from here actually. It is over there. But I'm glad I've got the, the daredevil, daredevil on. Let's go back and then gently come down here. And there we go, trinket collected, 17 of 19. And, oh, was that was that something that I needed to do? I, I don't think I realised that. Okay, uh, so the next one is... I'm just taking, taking a little bath in here. <laughs> the next one is in this area. It's around it's near it's near a log story short so let's see if i can, can i teleport up here and then go down to there uh, okay that's this way and then and then here, oh, 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 it's near this, is it up here? It may be up that path. Um, it's definitely nearby. There is something that I'm looking for that is a cave. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm uh, uh, giving anticipation for it. It is a cave. I don't need to do the, the fireworks just now, but I might as well try and find it this way. Is it on the side of this, on this rock? It'll be on the side of one of the rocks. Okay, this is one of those ones that, like, you know, I, I am pretty sure 
<laughs> I know, I know where it is, but let's see, let me see the map again. Let's go, let's go back into the, the centre of it, around here-ish. I think it might actually be over the other side, so let's try that. And see if I can see the, the cave around here. I don't like being threatened. These these guys are still over here. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to hit the button because then it's going to grow the log again. Uh, okay, give me two seconds. Okay, so I was kind of in the right place, but kind of not. It is over here. If I go over here, then I mean it's very well hidden, but it's a, a cave type mine type place and I go through here and end up out here. Now I think you can actually come here from like up there. In fact I don't know why I'm saying I think. Like you can get to here fairly easily other, th other than going through there. So I don't think there's any advantage to going through that way. But I don't know. I don't know what... <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm now... I'm now basically explosive. <laughs> hit the hit the the balls out here and then fire them into the into the water. There's rocks. I'm just firing into the water as fireballs. Okay, anyway. <laughs> where where's the next one? Let's let's keep keep focused. Keep focused. And so the next one is Oh, I don't know why I, I left that. Next one is... Where, where is that? It's over here. Kind of... There-ish, I think. So then, again, if I teleport up here... And... Then go off the side here. It's just next to next to these this uh, this airship thing, but it is inside this portaloo, which is not really a portaloo. It's like more of a more of a in the sticks loo. <laughs> so if we go to collectibles. I think is that is that me done? Yeah, that was the Morningwood Falls ones done. So now we are going to go into Pointy Foods, uh, San Angora Zoo, uh, Sawmill, and Suburbsville. But we're going to do that maybe not in the next episode. We will need to see. But join us again for another episode of Let's Play Goat Simulator 3 on the PlayStation 5. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks everyone for watching, see you later, bye bye.